Greetings to all the viewers of Dune of Mordor's channel. We continue to talk to investors, partners of the company. And today we have Alexei Naumik with us as our guest. Hello, Alexei. Hello, everybody. Alexei is both an investor and a partner. It's interesting to know. Tell us, where do you live? What do you do? I'm actually from a village, Ust Kulom. It's about 200 kilometers from the city of Siktivkar in the Komi Republic. I'm an entrepreneur and investor. I have my own bookstore. We sell books. And at the same time, I popularize an interesting project called Dune of Motors. How did you find out about the project? It was in 2017, in September, I guess. Usually I turn off advertising. At that moment I had ads on. And apparently fate decided that I needed to see that ad. And it was written very clearly and concisely. Anyway, I registered and looked at all the information on the site. I was interested. But what attracted me? It was the partnership at first. When I studied the topic, the technology, I forgot about it and I became interested in the technology itself. Why did I pay attention to it? Before that, I studied motor wheels and electric transport. And I was familiar with the Schkonten motor, which is also an interesting technology, and I liked it. And then I saw Dune of Motors, motor wheels as well. And I was contacted by one of the partners. He showed me everything, he explained things to me, he helped me to make a site. So I registered with him, of course. I watched webinars. Back then, webinars were conducted by Dmitry Dunov himself. I watched several webinars with him, then Pasha joined. And each webinar motivated. It arranged all the knowledge on the shelf, so to speak, and everything became obvious and clear. There was a conference in Moscow, and one of the participants spoke there. And he said that you only need 2,000 participants at $2,000. And it was about $40 million. I basically looked at those 2,000 participants, it's not that many. And $2,000 is not much either. It is a very realizable project, it's doable. And I started investing. The technology is cool. I'm familiar with motors, I know what induction motors are. I'm a kind of a craftsman myself, I make machine tools. I know what induction motors are. I've disassembled them myself. Well, you're interested in technology, that's good. Slavanko is also interesting. I was making a BLDC-powered electric bike, and I thought it would be interesting to put a motor at Slavanko there. But we don't have such motor wheels yet. Well, of course, for the time being. You are talking about $2,000 and 2,000 participants initially. Well, in principle, it is not so difficult if you divide the rest into a large number of people with small sums. Thanks to that, we raise such projects. How did you attract partners? What is your result in this? Share, please. Yes, I used YouTube to make videos. When I went to conferences, I broadcast all of it. I wanted to get more people involved, friends, for them to study the topic as well. I wrote publications and posts every day, I think, at the beginning, and I was attaching my affiliate link to them. Well, naturally, I would like to earn with that affiliate link and ease the burden of funds to maintain the project. Well, for me, it is a kind of additional experience in partnership program, in affiliate program. I tried myself in that direction. For me, you know, this project is very difficult to understand. It took me a long time to understand it. And then I studied it in more detail. At first, with a small amount of money, then I augmented it. I made it bigger. I realized that the site from Solo Group, it is very short and not quite understandable. So I made my own website. My friend, my partner helped me with that site. 
and I put all the information there. And it's been about five years since I started maintaining that website. I used some bloggers to have advertising, and it was desirable to have a link from the site there as well, not the affiliate link. And people came, I guess they mainly came because of the site, thanks to the site. So advertising worked, right? On YouTube, yes, it did work, and it was effective. Yes, cheap ads. I did not buy expensive ads, I bought cheap ads. 70, 50,000 subscribers with a blogger. That was the most effective advertising I had. I paid him 5,000 rubles, and the output was much higher. The result was much more effective than that of a blogger with millions of subscribers. Same thing here, right? So, price quality balance, that works. The main thing is to find such bloggers who have exactly the target audience that will be interested in the project, or to find a way how you can present the project for that target audience. Then everything will work out. How did people around you perceive what you were doing at the beginning and how they perceive it now? Is there a difference? Well, they had quite a questioning attitude, an unfriendly attitude, I would say. Not that loyal. They were kind of distrustful. They did not invest. I told a friend, for example, he was interested. But then, when I told him that there was a partner network, he immediately said, no, 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 no. And they just immediately leave the subject. It's like a taboo topic for them. But the technology itself is interesting. There are friends who still argue that it is just collecting money, there is nothing behind it, there is no production, it's not clear. Even if there is, when will you get your money back? And there are people who, well, I haven't personally talked to them, I just come in and they are on the list and I recognize some of them and some of them I don't know where they come from. Well, it is clear that they come from YouTube, from websites, from posts. Apparently, they register with the link. They studied the project themselves. Almost no one contacted me. People did not ask me what it is, what kind of project it is. They learned themselves somehow. Do you contact them yourself? Do you write to them? Not all of them. There was one sad moment. I contacted someone who was registered. I tried to communicate, and apparently I called at the wrong time. She was asleep. So she was like, do you know what time it is? Why are you calling? And I realized, well, I had to think about it somehow. I called at the wrong time, and after that I did not call. But I wrote messages. I told a few people what it was, like, you can contact me, I'll answer questions, and things like that. I don't think anyone contacted me. They just register in passing and that's it. They don't look into it. You said, like, calling at the wrong time. Now we have had an update in the office, in the back office, and you can see the time of partner registration so that there are no cases when you call in the middle of the night. Because we have partners from all over the world. <laughs> this functionality was so much needed five years ago. I insisted on it to add this function so that the partners would feel more protected from such situations. You're also talking about friends. I can tell you for a fact that you are not the only one. I also have friends and acquaintances who still do not see, do not believe. They say that the moment has not yet come to make their decision. Because every person has his or her own moment of making his or her decision. Someone is ready to do it with a bare idea, like you and me, at the pre-start, just to understand that, you know, use your gut feeling. It's intuition, it's gut feeling that kicks in, the sixth sense, and you feel that the person who is talking about it is really well dived in the subject. Well, what also plays a role here is that Dmitry Dunov has a large team. They have spent more than 20 years together in development. They already have some samples you probably already knew about the motor wheel at that time. Today there's virtually no risk left. I think that today is the right time to get in touch with the partners we have in structures 
that were registered long ago. We already have more than 16,000 partners all over the world who earn money together with a company who popularized the technology. The one who invented the flat screen TV, who made TV manufacturers switch to the technology, you know? Why? Because this technology has a number of advantages. Either you use it, or you'll be on the sidelines in this market. How long has it been around? Seven years already, I think, for the project. And basically all the answers to all the questions are there. We did not have that at first. We started everything ourselves from webinars. But each time I wait for expert time. Webinars. Interesting videos on construction and new developments from Dmitry Duyanov. It's all interesting, it's all motivating. So here you go, study the topic first before you tell people about it. Because then they will send you links to these videos from five years ago to supposedly experts on the technology. And you will be confused. We do have answers to all the questions in the form of knowledge base, in the form of partners' methodologies. We did not have that at the beginning, we have it all today. Everything, practically every letter is verified by both Selmash and Sell Group, and it is all available in the back office. The fact remains that crowd investing is a working model. Because other models, companies that took loans or something like that, in venture capital funds, a venture fund is also, by the way, a big thing. You need to pay 300% to the venture fund to finance it. It's also an expensive funding model. Crowd investing is the most optimal solution. Crowd investing makes it possible, as we have already proved, to launch such projects, which could have been financed earlier either with the help of a large business or with the help of business angels or with the help of borrowed government money. We have proved that we can do it with the people from scratch. If it were not so, we would not have passed all those inspections, because the competition for the land was big and so much was chosen. Government agencies check up the financial part, the business plan, the team, everything, everything, absolutely everything. There are supporters of the project, there are opponents of the project, that is pretty natural. The main thing is not to react, because our conversion rate is quite good. We talked about advertising. I look at the statistics today. 12 people out of 100 people become investors. So it is enough to make an advertisement with 100 registrations to get 12 people who will invest in the project, and this is a very good indicator. Alexei, thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing your experience and your vision. Well, friends, write your comments. Maybe you too have a story, how you got acquainted with the project. Share your insights, ask Alexei questions in the comments. Put a thumb up if you like the video, and down if you don't like the video. Be sure to write why, what can be corrected, added, improved. And I think we'll continue this interviews with partners and investors is very interesting.